Well, hi there, folks. It's Matt Hayson here looking at this week's property market, and there's plenty going on. Let's start with interest rates. As expected, the RBA board did meet during the week and have left the cash rate on hold at 0.1 of a percent. The rhetoric coming from the RBA not changing too much suggesting they're not looking to lift interest rates until at least 2024. That said, they are keeping a very close eye on next week's federal budget before reassessing their position. In a sign that the banks believe interest rate environment cannot get any lower, that battle to woo customers with sub 2% interest rates is coming to a close. Currently, the cheapest loan in the market is Homestar Finance, offering a two-year fixed interest rate at 1.74%. Now, interestingly, during the week, the RBA is winding up its cheap funding facility, which has been available to all of the banks. The banks have had access to $190 billion in three-year cheap funding. This is one of the reasons that's been fueling this property market. That currently leaves $10 billion per week that the banks can still draw down before this facility is wound up at the end of June. Now, this could potentially fuel increased demand from owner occupiers and investors who are looking to lock in a fixed interest rate at a cheap level over the next two to three year period. But in another sign that the banks believe that this cheap lending environment cannot continue for much longer, there are currently only six banks offering a four year fixed interest rate or more at sub 2%. Now that's down from 32 banks who are offering that facility just in January alone. Now, as we've been reporting over the last few weeks, investors are coming back into the market, but what we saw during April is investor loan commitment surged forward by 12.7%. That's the biggest jump since July 2003. We've also started to see a bit more momentum pick up in the market over the last 10 days, and sellers are very much aware of this. According to SQM Research, sellers have increased their asking prices by 6.4% in the rolling four weeks up to May 4. We've also seen a spike in the number of new properties coming onto the market, a lift by 4.8% in April. But what we're seeing around the grounds is this buy pool can absolutely absorb any increase in the number of new properties coming onto the market. So plenty going down in quarter two for the property market. And that leads us into this weekend where we've got some great properties open for inspection, some fabulous properties going under the hammer, and our entire team looks forward to seeing you out and about. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next week.